I'm Erin Eggleston and I'm teaching Biology 371 Advanced Field Methods with Professors Jeremy Ward and Steve Trombulak. This time around it was focused on coral reef ecology. We were able to spend 10 fabulous days down on Abaco Island. Students were able to collect data in these reef ecosystems that are now part of the Atlantic and Gulf Rapid Reef Assessment data set. AGRA has certain fish that are on their list that they deem most important for reef health and reef conservation. We're looking at populations of fish or corals or benthic organisms and how they vary throughout different reefs and not only their populations but sizes and all these other factors and contributors or detractors to reefs that can indicate not only reef health but different changes that are ways that reefs are responding to our changing environment. Corals are a hot spot of biodiversity. If they collapse, there's a huge uh, repercussion in those systems for the fishes that live there. And from a sort of conservation and management perspective, they are a region that support a lot of the fisheries in these communities. So the goal is to document what's there, and um, this type of survey allow us to, in a pretty quick amount of time, get a big picture view of what's going on in these reef systems, and then compare them over time. I was just so inspired by this course. I, I've never done field work before, especially marine field work. And, you know, I, I want to pursue this as a career later. So it was kind of like a great stepping stone. The biggest draw for me was just being able to engage with marine biology in a hands-on way. I think that being able to do things out in the field really just cements a lot of the information. And I think it fits in really nicely with this idea of Middlebury expanding its sort of global place-based education. It's interesting and moving to be able to see and experience an ecosystem that we need to help out more. Mm -hmm.